you watch all over the world. As much as it pains me to do this video, it is long overdue. And all you can do for this man of God is to pray for mercy while they are still here with us. Before I proceed, let us take a recall. The Lord opened my eye in the spirit. And I saw this man of God, they were preaching on their pulpit. But behind their pulpit, the Lord opened my eyes to see in the spirit where this man of God were engaging in all kinds of abominable acts. Fornication, adultery, abortion, hypocrisy. Listen to what the Spirit is saying. My righteous judgment is coming upon church leaders who have desecrated my holy altar. This message of prophecy you are about to hear is specific to a group of men of God and most especially to one. Judgment is upon you and by what I'm about to say, you will know how close it is on you. I will open a classified information that only you and a father figure who is late knows about and the people that took part in it. The Lord took me back in time and brought me to a place where I witnessed a conversation going on between a renowned Nigerian pastor and a young man who seemed like a mentee due to the way the conversation was going. The popular Nigerian pastor was sharing a dark suggestion with this man who is like an upcoming pastor trying to portray the rationale behind this dark suggestion he was sharing with this young man of how a father figure in the past who was also a renowned man of God in his time, in his words, pimps his daughter to him. Yes, this father figure arranges an immoral date for him to have his way with his daughter. I was trying to wrap my head around this ridiculous bombshell. Then I was made to understand by the help of the Holy Spirit, the genesis of the matter and where he adopted this lifestyle from. This man of God, giving this dark suggestion is in ministry when he saw his mentor whom he looked up to, ravaging young girls and we mount the pulpit and do mighty works. So this father figure was the one who introduced him to this lifestyle. And as a result, this popular man of God sees this kind of life as a normal thing and not a sin because he saw this man of God he once looked up to doing it. And so he felt there was nothing wrong with it. And now this man of God has continued in those full steps date. I am not addressing your kind in general. I am talking to you. The word badejo, does it ring a bell? Badejo, good. Now you know you are the one I am talking to. Now listen. God is love and the greatest personality of God is his patience. And God's patience Wait on two things. Our salvation and the appointed time of judgment. The grace of God is not a license for reckless living. Mantu is not immunity to the consequences of reckless living, but demands an equal level of consecration to keep you above seduction. You cannot fulfill God's will with your strength and you cannot use his grace to gratify your will. Lawlessness is the voice that beckons sin and sin introduces death. 
Remember, the God you obey in private will honor you in public. The God you disobeyed in private is about to expose you in public. For the time has come for judgment to begin in the house of God. And if it begins with us first, what will be the end of those who do not obey the gospel of God? Holy fire is coming and none escapes. The church is first, the bride of Christ. The bearers of fire will first be burnt. Thus says the Lord. I am flesh army and I stand in the very presence of God. I stand in the very presence of God. Viewers, thank you for watching this clip. Please subscribe to this channel today to get more videos, messages, and prophecies. If you have a testimony to share, please send us an email to officialflashami at gmail.com.